The alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei was victorious at Chibi. The tantalizing prize of total control slips from Cao Cao's fingers, and he is forced to return in defeat to Xu Chang, where he works to recover. Now is the time to chip away at Cao Cao's overwhelming advantage. Sun Quan makes preparations to expand from Jiandong. Liu Bei's strategist will also not waste this opportunity. In a move to win Liu Bei his own country, Zhuge Liang quietly begins to act. Master Zhuge Liang, I appreciate the help you've given us. No, honestly, our victory was entirely thanks to your brilliance. You flatter me, Master Zhou Yu. Our victory at Qi Bi has given us an excellent opportunity to attack Jing Province. Cao Cao's army is exhausted after such a long march. It will not be ready to fight anytime soon after its retreat, leaving Jing ripe for the taking. So, what is your next move, Master Zhuge Liang? Master Zhou Yu, you are fighting to realize a land ruled by Wu, a land ruled by Master Sun Quan. I am doing the same for my people. I am doing all I can to help Master Liu Bei rule this land one day. That is all. What are you planning? I am afraid I'm not at liberty to divulge any details at this time. I can say only that I wish to divide the land in three. I am working toward that goal. I look forward to seeing you again soon, Master Zhou Yu. Divide the land in three? It seems Zhuge Liang has yet another grand scheme up his sleeve. We have crushed Cao Cao at Chibi. This is the dawn of a new age for the forces of Wu. Mm, it is important that we do not get ahead of ourselves. Yes, you're right. We may have beaten him this time, but Cao Cao's army is still quite powerful. It will take time before we can completely overcome him. The wars that plague this land are far from over. The chaos continues. Don't look so glum, Xu Shang. If the chaos continues, then it's up to us to bring an end to it. You're absolutely right, Ju Ran. Master Zhou Yu. Our victory at Chi Bi is merely the start of our offensive. In other words, the battle is just beginning. We will require the assistance of your generation. You must continue to grow and improve for the battles to come. The battles to come? It sounds as if our path has already been decided. In a sense, it has. We are planning to seize Nanjun in Jing province. I would like for all of you to join me for this invasion. Nanjun is guarded by the defensive stalwart Cao Ren. It will not be an easy battle. Leave it to me, then. I have yet to meet a man who can withstand the heat of my fire attacks. Master Zhou Yu, I don't suppose our next battle will be another joint effort with Liu Bei, then? That is correct. This battle is entirely up to us. We only teamed up with them to repel Cao Cao's attack. Our alliance is a mere formality now that it is over. Actually, Zhuge Liang has already begun making his move in Jing province. I believe he is planning to capture it before we can. To steal it out from under us. 
Given our performance at Chibi, Jin Province should belong to U. We can't let Liu Bei take it away. I see. Tao Tao is not our only enemy. Liu Bei? No. Zhugo Liang is someone we must be wary of as well. Yes, indeed. However, our current focus must be on taking Nanjun. Cao Cao's army may be weakened, but it is still formidable due to its sheer size. We shall have our scouts keep an eye on Zhuge Liang's movements. We must capture Jing province before he does. Once Nanjun is ours, the land will be divided in two. Everybody, I am counting on you to lead U to victory once more! Lord Sun Chuen, we're making the preparations for our impending departure. That's good to hear. Thank you for all your hard work, Lian Shu. Hey, those seem to be getting along rather well lately, don't you think? Yes, they appear to have the ideal ruler and vassal relationship. I agree. Lady Lian Shu is quite the skilled warrior. Our lord could not ask for a more capable attendant. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh well, you men just don't get it. Seeing them like that makes me a bit jealous. I only wonder if there's anybody out there for me. What? That's what you were talking about? Just thinking of you leaving us. To marry some man is enough to make me cry! It appears our lord has finished making his preparations. Is everybody ready to join the attack on Nanjun? Master Cheng Pu? What's the matter? You're unusually quiet today. Something's been bothering me lately. Zhou Yu seems almost too eager to leap into action. I'm worried that he's playing right into the enemy's hands. Ha! I never expected you to be one to worry about Zhou Yu, Master Cheng Pu. You're getting soft in your old age. He is an important leader of Wu. We cannot afford to lose him at this critical juncture in our history. I'm not sure what to think. But if Master Cheng Pu is worried about him, then I suppose we should be too. This is the moment of truth for Wu. We cannot allow any harm to come to Master Zhao Yu. I agree. I only hope Cheng Pu's fears turn out to be unfounded. Hey, cheer up everybody. It's good to have a healthy dose of concern, but it's equally important to keep your spirits up. Now, let's make our way to Nanjun. Our strategy is just like we discussed. We will join Master Zhou Yu in his attack on Nanjun. That I understand. What I want to know is, why have you stuck me with this creep, Master Lu Meng? Why don't you just shut your mouth already and get out there and fight? What? <laughs> Surely you're joking. You don't really expect me to get out there and fight alongside the man that killed my father. Are you still hung up on that? Get over it already. Silence, both of you. Have you forgotten your promise to our lord that you'd work together? Hmm. Ha! This situation is less than ideal. Although, it is my job to control these two. We have received word that Liu Bei's army is in Jing province. If so, it means Zhuge Liang is looking to use us to take it back. Even after our help at Chibi. We cannot let them have their way. Nanjun and Jing province belong in the hands of Wu.
We must slay Xiao Ren and Jiang Ling in order to obtain Jing province. It is imperative that we... Hmm, what is that? Are he. This is our chance to seize victory. <laughs> I was able to protect the people that were under my charge. Sake of Master Zhao Ren, you shall not pass. Your valor in battle is resolute like steel. However, for the sake of my lord, you give up on this fight. We are to take that position. Follow me. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Failed in my duty. Master Zalren, forgive me. I will slay any who threaten those under my care. <laughs> I was able to protect the people that were under my charge. forces to make it this far. Quickly, make room to welcome our reinforcements. If we call it a day, this is all over. We have to take this place at once. Time to 
to end this. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. It seems we were unable to call in the reinforcements. We have done all we can. Everybody, prepare to retreat. Aho Dun is retreating. Now, Shum Yum belongs to Wu. I will slay any who threaten those under my care. <laughs> I was able to protect the people that were under my charge. The reinforcements from Shenyang have been halted. It seems we are on our own. Placed in charge of Sheng Ling's defenses. My shield will not waver, no matter how many men the enemy throws at it. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. It's a fight you want! Then you come to the right place! Failed to protect the post assigned to me. Jing Province is ours. This is a great step forward in our plans for the land. I am relieved that I was able to realize my goal. Lord Zhou Yu, are you all right? Hey! Don't you go dying on me! We must see to his wounds immediately. Quickly, escort Master Zhou Yu back to the main camp. Master Zhou Yu, are you hurt? I'll be all right. Uh, what about Nanju? Don't worry. We captured it just like you planned. This will give us a base to oppose Cao Cao. It seems the path towards splitting the land in two is open before us, Master Zhou Yu. I see. In that case, it was worth the risk. M my lord, we've got trouble. Liu Bei's army invaded Jing province while we were taking Nanjun. He has captured the territories of Wuling, Shengsha, Lingling, and Guiyong. Uh, what? Damn you, Zhu Goliang. You dare to steal Jing? With your cowardly plots! Stay calm, Zhou Yu. Your wounds could get worse. The wounds to my body are nothing compared to the loss being suffered by Sunu! Zhou <sighs> <sighs> Yu, forget about it. You just focus on getting better. My lord, please forgive me. Lu Su, you too. It looks as if. I'm going to have to leave the rest to you. 
Merciful heavens, give me one more. Please just allow me to work on one more plan for Zunu. Do you, Master Show you? Do you? Lu Xu, give me a situation report on Jing Province. Yes, my lord. Wu Ling, Shang Sha, Ling Ling, and Gu Yang are all under Liu Bei's control. His army has a firm grip on the south. I have spoken with Zhuge Liang, and he regrets to inform us that they have no intention of handing over the territories peacefully. He is claiming that Liu Bei inherited the lands of Jing province from Liu Biao, and that he is their rightful owner. What cowards! First they use us at Chibi, now they try to steal Jing province from us with sophistry. Jing is essential to our plan to divide the land in two. We should take it and make Liu Bei and his followers pay for their betrayal. Don't be so hasty, Master Cheng Pu. We are still allies with Liu Bei. Our alliance only exists on paper at this point. How is Zhou Yu faring? Not good, I'm afraid. His wounds are swelling, and there is poison running throughout his body. I'm sorry to hear that, Zhou Yu. We should ask Master Zhou Yu for his thoughts on this matter. Of course, I do not wish to put too much of a strain on him. You're right. We could use some of Zhou Yu's wisdom about now. Let us go and see what he has to say. Okay. Zhou Yu, how are you feeling? My lord, I apologize for my appearance. You're fine. Please, conserve your strength. Losing you would be like losing my own right arm. Who needs you now more than ever? My lord, I am not worthy of such praise. It pains me greatly to be incapacitated at such an important time. This is a pivotal moment for Wu's future. Master Zhou Yu, I apologize for this intrusion. As you say, this is a pivotal moment for Wu's future. I was hoping to hear your thoughts on dealing with Liu Bei. What do you think, Lu Su? If we are to divide the land with Cao Cao, it is not wise to make additional enemies. Furthermore, from the viewpoint of a wanderer like Liu Bei, gaining a land of his own is probably his most heartfelt desire. For argument's sake, let's say he has a compelling reason for making such a move. I can understand that. Therefore, I think we should loan Jin Province to Liu Bei for the time being and prioritize our alliance. Yes, I agree with you. However, it is clear that we can no longer trust Zhuge Liang. I have a feeling they may seek to dissolve our alliance. In order to prevent that, we are going to have to form even stronger ties with them. Ties? Hmm. Perhaps I should call it a bond or connection. 
Our alliance can be strengthened through the use of a strategic marriage. Princess, I want you to marry Liu Bei in order to solidify the alliance between our kingdoms. Huh? Zhou Yu, have you lost your mind? If the princess and Liu Bei were to marry, it would create a strong bond between Wu and Shu. That would carry over into our alliance and enable us to face Cao Cao without having to watch our back. Princess, I beg of you. I am in need of your help to ensure the future of Wu. I won't allow it. Shang Xiang is my sister, not some tool to be bargained with. Very well, Jiao Yu. Huh? Princess, you have my eternal gratitude. Shang Xiang, do you know what this means? This is not just your average marriage. You will lose all your freedom and be forced to live in a land you don't even know. Is that what you really want? Thank you, Chuan. However, I feel this is what is necessary for Wu at the present time. The chaos continues with no end in sight, and Cao Cao is sure to attack us again. If I can help our cause in this way, then it will be an honor to do it. Besides, I can honestly say that I kind of like Lord Liu Bei. Well then, I shall go and present this offer to Master Liu Bei. Lu Su. Please bring Liu Bei here, at the time of the ceremony. If he refuses to come, then forget about everything we've discussed here. Hmm... As you wish. I must do whatever I can to secure Wu's future while I still draw breath no matter how much it may stain my reputation in the process. Princess, I only hope that you can forgive me. I never expected the princess to be the type of woman to get married. She is wise and kind-hearted. I believe she is doing what she knows is best for Wu. I heard that Master Huan Gai wept when he heard the news. The princess sure is popular. So, when is Master Liu Bei due to arrive here? I believe he should be here shortly. As such, I suppose we ought to go back to making our rounds. Don't you find this a bit strange? This should be a celebration, but security is tighter than ever. And most of them are Master Zhou Yu's men. Master Liu Bei is set to become the princess's husband. We need to have men we can trust in case something happens. I see. I hope that's all it is. It appears Liu Bei has just arrived. He should be joining us shortly. Xiang Xiang. Are you absolutely sure this is what you want? Yes, brother. Thank you for your concern, though. After all these years watching over you, Princess, to think that you're finally getting married, I couldn't stop crying. Come on now, Huang Gai. It's not like we'll never see each other again. What's the matter, Lu Su? Is something troubling you? No, it's just that Master Zhou Yu was acting a bit strange. Zhou Yu? Master Lu Su! You know what's strange is all of the security around here. It seems Master Zhou Yu's men have locked the place down. Master Zhou Yu's men? No, it can't be! Ah, I am such a fool! How could I not see this coming sooner? What is it, Lu Su? My lord, 
I believe that Master Zhou Yu is planning to assassinate Master Liu Bei. What? How can you be so sure? This marriage is simply a ruse. I believe Master Zhou Yu's intention is to lure Master Liu Bei into the open and then wait for a chance to kill him. Master Zhou Yu knows just how dangerous Master Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang are to our cause. He must have decided on this plan after the situation with Jing. Impossible! We need to get Master Liu Bei out of here right away. If this plot actually goes down, we'll have bigger problems than just losing an ally. Wait, what if Zhou Yu is right? Wouldn't it benefit Wu immensely if we killed Liu Bei? Cheng Pu! No, you're wrong! You're suggesting that we invite somebody here to a wedding under false pretenses and then kill him! Who could ever trust such people? If we want to do what's best for Wu, then we need to keep our promises. I am going to marry Lord Liu Bei. Please, everybody! I need your blessing, as well as your help. For Lord Liu Bei's sake, as well as Zhou Yu's. Princess? I understand how you feel, Princess. I promise to do whatever I can to help you achieve your wish. I'll fight for you, no matter what! Xu Sheng, thank you. I'm here for you too, Princess. I would hate to miss a chance to see you on your wedding day. Cheng Pu, my lord, for the sake of Wu, please escort Master Liu Bei to safety. Very well. We must put a stop to Zhou Yu's plan. Zhou Yu? All units! We must slay the greatest threat to Wu! Liu Bei! Our target is Liu Bei, and Liu Bei alone. This is for the future of Wu. Everybody, prepare for battle!
Dedicated service is its own reward, but this is pretty nice too. Our army refuses to flee! Everybody, we must fight as if there is no tomorrow! <laughs> to let you escape. <laughs> Get away! It appears my luck has finally run out. Princess, leave the rest to us. Thank you, everyone. But now, Lord Liu Bei and I must be going. Lady Shang Xiang. I swore to protect you, Princess. Please, allow me to come with you. No, I need you by someone else's side, Leon Shir. <laughs> I think you know who I'm talking about. Princess. Tell my brother that as long as I am alive, the alliance between Wu and Shu shall be unwavering. And tell Zhou Yu, thank you for me. Princess, please take care of yourself. It seems my blade failed to find its mark. It is better this way, Zhou Yu. The alliance between Wu and Liu Bei is stronger than ever now, just like you said it would be. I believe that will be true for the time being. However, given the problem with Jing, I am afraid we will be unable to avoid further conflict with Liu Bei. At that time, it is going to hit you and especially the princess rather hard, my lord. More than anybody, you've risked your life to protect U. Nobody blames you for what you have done. My lord. I will not let your passion for U go unanswered. I promise to do whatever it takes to protect our people. But for now, try to get some rest. Unless you don't trust me to do the job properly. No. I think I can rest easily now. Zhou Yu. We may have placed too heavy of a burden upon Zhou Yu's shoulders. I suppose we were so caught up in our victory at Chibi that we failed to notice. The boy we once knew has grown into a fine young man. We must focus on supporting Wu's efforts going forward. It seems our life of easy retirement is gonna have to wait. Where are you going, Cheng Pu? I'm going to have a drink with Zhou Yu. Will wonders never cease? Hello, Master Cheng Pu. You look like you're feeling better. Care to join me for a drink? As long as you're feeling up to it, of course. Are you sure you wish to drink with a greenhorn like me? You have performed admirably in the service of Wu. 
I do not doubt your credentials any longer. Grr. It seems I forgot to bring the cups. Ah. Get a hold of yourself. Master Chang Pu. We need you to train all of the other Greenhorns in our army. Hm. I never thought I'd live to see the day you were scolding me. Wait a moment. I'll be right back. Master Chang Pu. I leave the rest to you. Sun Tzu, I hope I was able to live up to your expectations for me. Lastly, my lord, I hope you can forgive me for abandoning my path midway through. Joe you? Curse you, Greenhorn. Joe you. Please say hello to my brother for me. And thank you for your loyal service. <laughs>